Hello, welcome to part 12 of Elite Force. We are still in the Harvester ship. I mean, not, we're not in the Harvester ship. We are in the Big can. ass gun. Yeah, the big ass gun to get rid of the Harvester ship. Klingons. Yeah, those people from that other ship, they're in here. For some reason. They, uh, doing nothing. Maybe it's not getting us anywhere. Yeah, you know what? Tell people to get on the elevator faster. <laughs> I know I'm only playing that's a normal, but this is pretty manageable. Looks like they were trying to get into the control room. They couldn't get this door open, though. See that you fare better, Mr. Chell. Yes, sir. What a disaster area. Maybe the crew made a last stand against the harvesters here. Let us hope the control room is in better condition. Looks like they I think my plate. bedroom's dirtier than that. Any good. That was fast. I wouldn't be much of a technician if I couldn't open a door. Eh, <laughs> Klingons are stupid. <laughs> so here's the bridge of the missile thing. It's... Shell. Seal the door in case there are more Looks very untrekkish if you think about it. In fact, it looks more like a normal sh uh, ship. I mean, normal. Like something. I Star Trek. Like, I guess more of like a different unit, like a different series. It just looks a little. You mean like natural. Star Wars ish? I don't know. It looks looks Star Wars or maybe even Firefly. Yeah, like a little more natural. Star Trek ships are natural. And a little too clean. But it's a military ship. No, I'm not talking about them keeping it up and all that. I'm saying the way everything's designed. It's a little too clean. Because it's... Military. Where would you rather live, Kurt? On the Enterprise or in one of the bunks on the Millennium Falcon? Too shit. My god. I speak perfect English. Perfect English. <laughs> My fist turns off the buttons. He's like the Fonz. Mr. Chell, control yourself. They're gonna tear Voyager apart. That is precisely what we are here to prevent. However, there has been a setback. Oh no. Yes, I spoke too soon. I can aim the gunship and Good. fire it from here. But the loading mechanism seems Fuck. to be malfunctioning. The charge will have to Good be loaded. Freaking shot not. <laughs> Ensign Monroe, take I don't know if I would trust Shell to do this. Here and ride the maintenance tram to the end. The plasma focusing router here is misaligned. Cutting off power to the oh, how mechanism. convenient. You will have to adjust it. Then, make your way down to the firing chamber. Once there, you have to load the energy round into the firing chamber. When you've loaded the charge, I will then be able to fire the gunship. All right, Chang, Sakos, you're with me. It's the uh, blonde hair guy. <sighs> I thought he was going to pick me. Hey, don't worry. The ship's deserted. Should be no problem. I have disabled all the security locks on the lifts and doors in the rest of the vessel. You should have no difficulties proceeding. Famous last word. <laughs> I want your word, Duvok! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this should be pretty easy. No bad guys. It's a de derelict ship. Just have to realign the, um, the gun. What can go wrong? What are you doing? Don't touch <laughs> you. Uh oh. Get back here. Mr. Monroe, what's happening down there? I'm reading a power surge. We um we fucked up. We done goofed. <laughs> Goddamn fucked up now. 
So yes, we are fighting robots now. I guess we were technically fighting robots a little earlier, but, you know, the board, you know they're androids, but still. They must be controlled from a different part of the ship. We'll just have to be careful. Agreed. So those it's are the only out. people we just have to worry about, essentially. But luckily, there's a lot of uh, different kinds of them. So it's not just like a spider and all that. There's camera doors and all that. <laughs> camera doors? Camera things. You know, cameras that near the doors and all that. You mean security cams? Security. Uh, shut up. I'm part of an elite force. <laughs> Who designed? What part of the ship is this? I don't know. <laughs> hey, I got. I, I dropped my keys. <laughs> well, I might as well start jumping down everywhere. <laughs> no, right? Galaxy Quest pretty much nailed it. Who designed? It has this? no s purpose. Yeah. I mean. Unless they were going for like a Death Star look with the garbage and the... I think they were just trying to add a puzzle element to make sure it's not so straightforward. You know, you get to go turn on the switch. They have some kind of toxic goo with an elevator that doesn't work. Why? I don't know. <laughs> you got me there. You know, when I first played this, one of the characters got stuck on the wall so I couldn't proceed with the game. So I had to actually restart it. Mm. Which was really annoying. That's a nice thing to be greeted Couldn't to. Couldn't they just do site to site transporting? What's site to site transporting? I guess it's only a plot device when you need it. But what what is that? You know, like... It's when you beam from one point to the other aboard a ship. From one part of one ship to another. Of course, in Nemesis, they call it site-to-site -site transporting from one bridge to another, but I'm pretty sure it's just transporting. This game came out before Nemesis, so they probably didn't know what that was. Freaking, freaking Nemesis. No, they did in Generations. I mean, um, in, uh, the next generation and stuff. Uh. Now, there's a machine in here that's, like, kind of like breathing in a sense and I have to say it's really well animated it looks weird because you know the graphics of it are old so it looks odd but that's actually good animation talking about that thing yeah Ugh. like I said it looks weird because you know the, the, for the time the, the you know the engines and all that weren't very powerful so they couldn't make them super smooth but it's pretty good Believe it or not, I actually got lost and didn't know what to do here, so, and then I felt like an idiot realizing the switch was right there. <laughs> no, I actually believe it. <laughs> Watch it. What the? Shoot it! So here is a little mini boss. So we fought one beforehand, and here is the second one. Danger. Oh my Danger God. Will Robinson. Yeah, it's a robot from the new Lost in Space movie. Yes. <laughs> Very intimidating looking thing, but. Uh, well, inti quote unquote know. intimidating. Only things with fingers scare me. So. Okay, that's a fast fucking yeah, robot. Yeah, you just have to shoot it until it dies. You don't say. Oh, so, you know. <laughs> Ouch. They really expect you to get hurt here, because they have a lot of health stuff around. But I'm not complaining. Like Sounds like you're complaining. Is down this lift where the robot came from. Looks like you are very astute, douchebag. <laughs> I just like the way this place looks. I think that's why I really like this level. It's just, it's, it's just nice. It kind of looks like something out of the uh, old Republic. Yeah, it kind of does actually. Or maybe vice versa, since this is much older. It's hard to believe that this was this was 12 years ago. You know, it's like we really have come a long way. 
my god, I'm old. <laughs> I know, but remember when this came out? We're like, this looks like. Yes, like, I was young. I mean, when these games came out, we were like, these are like the most, like, like best looking games ever. You know. Actually, I'm not 100 yeah. sure about that because even with Jedi uh, Knight and Jedi Academy, I don't think I ever was extremely blown away by their graphics. I just think I think I just enjoyed the game more than anything. I'm more of a gameplay person, but you know, graphics are nice when we just you know look at them. Well, with Elite Force, I was more impressed with the uh, ability to walk around the ship because he never really had a full map of the starship before. Very Oops. weak uh, pillar. I don't know, that thing was held by, like, tape. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> a little bit of tape and a lot of hope. I know we kind of went past it. I like how it. the truck could orcs. Yeah. We kind of went past it, but I picked up this new gun. It's just like a... Shoots electricity. Like a Ghostbuster? Yeah. It's really useful against these things. Unfortunately, it runs out of ammo really quickly. As long as you don't cross the streams. It's actually a very short level. You know, once we align it, we're actually, like, done. Pretty much. Actually, that's not true. We have to do one little thing, but after that, we're, like, done. Death Star. Wow. I'm sensing a bit of Star Wars here. It's just, just a like little. a little transport. Was that? Oh. <laughs> Last time I was on a transport thing like that was in Dead Space. Yeah, it didn't end well, did it? There was like babies things in there. Well, technically, wouldn't this have been the first time chronologically? I don't know what game did this first. I mean, I think it's just a trope where you trans. I think it's just an easy way to get someone to point A to point B. It works. Wow. If you try to go through there, you will that die. So don't. Gas. Do it. Flesh right off your bones. Great. Bye, guys. <laughs> Fuck you, guys. <laughs> now you'd think you have to actually go up here, but believe it or not, no. This room has ammo, just I like, think, at most. But you actually have to go just up like using it. your proton pack. <laughs> you actually have to go in a different. No, my ankle. Right here. You have to go through this little thing. There's bugs in here. How do the bugs get in here? Because in space, infestations still exist. Okay. I remember Wrath of Khan, there was a rat on a star base. You know, in space. Space space? Hey, Monroe, whatever you did worse. Space space. The gas stopped venting. Dead space. They look totally amazed by the lack of venting gas. Some hazard team they are, they don't do anything. I do all the work. And they like miss their targets. It's kind of like the red shirts in Star Trek. They wait for Kirk to do everything, and then they run in and die. I do like this place, but it can be kind of annoying with all these bad guys that throw at you. Yes, um, I didn't realize it, but you see how I just died right there? There are canisters. I couldn't help but notice. Yeah. <laughs> see, I actually, that caught me by surprise when I did the recording of this. I didn't know there was explosives over there. Now watch this. Oh, uh, I think it will come up in a few seconds. Amazing. Now, you see, yeah, it's coming up. Spoke a little too soon. So this time I'm a little more careful, and then I realize, oh, 
that it does that so you can get rid of all the bad guys. I do like the little dive attack they do. I mean dive to get out of the way. Dive it. But this this bothers me. Well, look, I shot that. Whatever's here. Tubes. We must be getting close to the focusing chamber. Yeah. Okay, he said plasma tubes. Why didn't they say that beforehand so I knew that, sh that I could shoot them? Out of sight, out of mind. But you saw me just shooting at them and I just randomly hit it. You saw that, right? So it's like, how was I supposed to know? I saw nothing.